What is up guys? Let's talk mud motors. I'm gonna show you a little project I've been working on. This is a 14 foot John boat with a Predator 670cc 22 horsepower engine and the Swamp Runner long tail mud motor kit. When I was building this boat, I wanted to find one YouTube video that showed the person set up with this motor, with this kit, and basically just like from front of the boat to the back of the boat, the complete setup. I'm gonna make that video since I couldn't seem to find one. If you're interested in making a mud motor, you can watch this video and it'll kind of give you an idea of how you want to set up your boat. There's videos out there that show people putting the mud motors together. There's people that show them running the mud motors, but I wanted to make a video that kind of shows the complete setup. So if you're having some issues, you can got, kind of get some ideas from the way I set it up. All right, enough talking, let's get into it. So this here is my Tracker Topper 14. This boat is actually 2009, so it's a little bit old. Let's start from the front. Front, nothing special, okay? Here, in the front compartment, I put my battery and I put a six gallon gas tank. Six gallon gas tank I bought from Walmart for like 42 bucks. You're gonna have to buy a fitting to fit in the gas tank for whatever size fuel line you're gonna use. I'm gonna pause from here and I'm gonna go back to the, uh, the Predator 670 motor. This motor automatically comes with a fuel filter sticking out the top, but that fuel filter is a quarter inch hose. Like that, it's a quarter inch line. So from the get go, I bought quarter inch line. So basically I got a quarter inch fitting that goes into the gas tank. I've got quarter inch hose that runs over to, I bought this electric fuel pump. Technically the motor has a fuel pump in it, but if you just want to make sure you're getting the correct amount of gas you need, you can buy this fuel pump. I got it today at Advance Auto Parts for $42. He price matched. Uh, basically, you can get this same one on Amazon for like $42. Bucks. This is the Holly um, gasoline diesel fuel pump. It's a 1.5 to 4 PSI, just a real small fuel pump. I got it hooked up to the 12 volt battery inside here. All right, so inside this battery box, I've got my negative, positive, and then I've got the negative and the positive coming to the fuel pump, but I've got them going to a toggle switch. So this little toggle switch was a couple dollars from Advanced Auto Parts as well. Basically, I hit that little switch right there, turns the fuel pump on, I'll let you see. Boom, gets enough fuel pumping back there to the motor. All right, enough with that. What y'all really want to see is my setup. So I got battery cables running along that side. I need to clean it up a little bit. I got the fuel line coming out of the fuel pump running along this side. Again, this is quarter inch fuel line. You can use whatever you want. Um, I just went with quarter inch because the fuel filter that was on this Predator motor was a quarter inch. So I got a quarter inch ball just in case, you never know. Um, you don't have to have a ball, a squeeze ball to pump some gas up there now that I've got fuel pump and a fuel pump inside the motor. Um, basically here, this is real sloppy. You're gonna wanna make some kind of rope that holds your motor and keeps the tail out of the water. That you can see is at an angle, so it's already slipping off. Um, this Swamp Runner kit comes with this handle. Um, this So this goes on here, but I cannot keep this in here. It just keeps wanting to slide off, so I just took it off. Okay, um, basically I got my kill switch set up here. If you follow the instructions in Swamp Runner's manual, it's pretty simple to set up this kill switch. So you'll wanna make sure that this is on your person at, the, at all times, just in case you fall, it'll pull it out of there and kill the engine. I got both of my cable, my, my gasoline cable, or I guess it's a, called a throttle cable, and my kill switch wires running into, inside the tube all the way back, okay. I switched, again, quarter inch fuel line. I switched out the fuel filter that comes on this motor with an aftermarket one from Advanced Auto Parts. 
it was like eleven dollars you could probably get them a little bit cheaper on amazon um all right so let's talk about this brace if you're having an issue with the back of your transom being like flexing like these john bones some of them are strong enough for mud motors but if you got a smaller one like mine this is a 1436 which means it's 14 foot long and it's 36 across the bottom when i first put the mud motor on this transom it started bending that transom right here real bad brought it back to the house and i started my own little project what i did was i got a three quarter inch plywood i put that across the back and then i got two steel plates if you're here in florida these steel plates are i think they're like 12 by 12 um but they were seven dollars from tampa bay steel that is an absolute deal i think something like this this exact same plate um you can get from like lowe's for like 30 something dollars tampa bay steel seven bucks a piece so i got one there and i got one on the back i think this back one is holding a lot of the the motor because the issue i was having before the motor was bending backwards and bending that transom but now that i got that steel plate there and the new back transom board and steel plate on this side this thing's like sturdy as a rock what do we got for sealant um i just got a bunch of quarter inch by one and a half inch and a couple of them i got some two inch but quarter inch bolts hex bolts i put 5200 on all the bolts and on the inside of this plate just to make this watertight this swamp runner kit the large kit comes with a hundred inch shaft um, i've got the nine and a half inch propeller on there right now i'm definitely gonna try and rig up some kind of weedless mechanism um, because i'm definitely getting some weeds hung up in there every time i run through them so i gotta figure out how to close the little gap back there and get rid of the weeds but so far i mean it's pretty good i'm impressed i'm about to go head upstream under that bridge there that's my setup just wanted to let you in on it a little bit hopefully if you had some questions about how you wanted to set up your boat watching this video kind of helped i'm gonna get back to playing see you